Welcome back to another fun and exciting episode of Twy and Game. Where today we're going to play Pokemon Quest. For this RPG Pokemon game, the Pokemon are cubed in fun, cute styles. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Every click counts. Let's get started, shall we? I'm heading for a small island that was recently discovered called Tumble Cube Island. There are traces of civilization that used to exist on this island. There could be a lot more precious loot to be discovered. My goal is to thoroughly explore Tumble Cube Island and uncover its awesome loot. I'll be arriving at Tumble Cube Island shortly. I can't wait to see what treasures await me. Wow, the island looks pretty big. I wonder if we can explore it all. Pokemon Quest. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got some cool technology. Look at all the Pokemon running around. Oh no! Beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. Hmm, Mr. Moby 4, the drone malfunctioned by Sylphco. I brought here to detect loot. It's acting strange. What's wrong, Moby? Boop, boop. Well, I guess I have no choice but to restart. Beep, beep. Raise that complete. Please input owner's name. The minimum number of characters is 12. And you guys know me. I wouldn't be Twy if this wasn't Twy in game. Good morning, Twy. Here is the news for today. I'm not interested in the news right now, Moby. I'd rather get exploring on this island. Would you go have a look around for me first? Understood. Being scouted. Understood. Scouting Tumble Cube Island. Stand by. I have not recorded data on this island. Guidance will be necessary. Oh no. There appears to be some Pokemon nearby that live on the island. They should be familiar with the island landscape. Why not befriend one of them so it can show us the way? I see! Sounds like a plan! Let's try it out! Oh my gosh, Charmander is so cute! Oh my gosh, Bulbasaur! A uh, sturdy Pokemon for defense. Easy. Well balanced. Pikachu. It looks like it's an attack. And, needless to say, Squirtle. Squirtle is also well balanced. I'm not sure how hard it'll get Pikachu in the future, so let's just get Pikachu now. Oh my gosh, look how happy it is! You've befriended Pikachu! It seems our preparations are complete. Why? We'll head out and have a look around the island. Exploration start! Pokemon move towards enemy on their own and attack them. Alright. Will the game be doing this all by itself then? Whoa, what was that? Looks like we got something. Oh, something popped up now. Pokemon no moves. By tapping the icon for one of the Pokemon moves, you can give the order to use that move. Thunder shot. Whoa, that was a pretty strong move. Oh good, we got some more stuff. What if I press this one here? Oh! I just destroyed some trees! 
Oh no, they're attacking me. Wow, I got two at once. Do you see at the top where it says how much... I think it's fruit. Oh, that rat tat looks scary. Ah! What's this button do? Oh, I'm running away! There we go. That didn't take too much. Rat tats are never scary. What am I thinking? Stage cleared! Oh nice, Pikachu raised the level. Power stones are important items that you can give your Pokemon to make them stronger. As you progress through the stages, you'll be able to get stronger power of stones. I almost felt like I was talking about Moby there. Talking like Moby there. Hmm. I think we can end our exploration for now. I need to find a place where we can set up base camp. Oh, looks like I found quite a nice clearing. I'll make this my base. What about the bizarre stone I found earlier? Is there some way I can use it? When Twy pulls out the stone, the Pokemon's body starts to glow. Try attaching the power stone you got on your exploration to your Pokemon. Well, I don't see my Pikachu glowing. Pokemon on Tubblecube Island have mysterious charms known as power charms. When you put the power stone into the socket on the power charm, it can raise the Pokemon's HP or attack. With the Everstone button, you can give your Pokemon an Everstone that will stop it from evolving. Yeah, Pikachu only evolves at a certain time anyways. With a stone. I don't want to give it a stone right now. Looks like my Pokemon has gotten stronger. Guess it's time to start exploring. I wonder what that's for. I guess we'll find out later. You can start an island expedition from the dungeon icon. The goal of the game is to find precious loot that lies hidden on the island as you progress on your expeditions. Doesn't look too tough. Here we go, knock down some trees. Wah! Destroying trees. Don't look like I get anything from it though. Boom! Run away, I'm not ready to fight yet. Okay, now I am. Boom! Oh! It looks like I have to be wary of which way my Pokemon faces. Gotcha! Oh, I got two of them! Oh, even though the regular attacks aren't ready, like the special attack looks like he still attacks on his own for just like tackle. Wah, he dodged it. You're just a pitchy, you should just like, you know, two hits. There we go. They come a group of them. Wah, cha, let's try this one. Whoa! That was awesome! Oh. It's a Meowth! I wonder how we catch Pokemon. Run away, Pikachu! There we go. Run away, Pikachu, we're not ready to attack yet. Alright. Well, my butt, my butt knocked down a tree. Or, my Pikachu's butt. Pikachu's butt is strong. Alright, we leveled up again. Oh, what's that? Oh, another spot opened up. We got a Mite Stone, which is a fist. And the spot that opened up is a heart. 
So I don't think we can put that in there, but we can definitely try. You found some ingredients. It looks like you could cook with. If you cook something, it should attract some Pokemon. I guess that's how we attract Pokemon? Do we have to attack them once we attract them? You're all ready to start cooking now. Use the ingredients you found on Tumble Cube Island to cook some dishes for Pokemon. When you cook up some food, Pokemon that like that kind of food will come to visit the, your base camp. Tap the ingredients icon to put the ingredients in your cooking pot. Once you've filled the pot, you're ready to cook. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Start cooking. Yes. When your dishes have finished cooking will depend on how many times you've gone on an expedition on the island. If you use MP tickets, which are special items, you can finish cooking your dishes right away. I don't like using those for such things though. I guess they gave them to me for free to finish the cooking. Let's see what we get. Let's see who's going to come to my island. Ooh, two Pokemon! Pidgey and Ratatat? Ah! Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, hi Ratatat. Congratulations, you befriended a new Pokemon. Now keep on befriending more Pokemon. Oh, I have to edit my team now. Nice, I got a team of three, which makes my power level over 600. <laughs> Too dorky? Maybe. Your cooking pot is empty. Why not start cooking another dish before heading out on an expedition? Why yes, that sounds about right. Sure. Your dishes will finish cooking after you've gone on a few expeditions. Don't forget to start making new dishes before you head out on a next expedition. So it says zero out of two, so I think it uh, takes two expeditions probably. Your total of your team members HP and attack is your team's strength. At each spot where you can head out on an expedition, the strength of enemies will display that should give you an idea of what your team's strength should be. Pokemon with the same type as the bonus type for your place you're heading out on an expedition will have a higher HP and attack than normal, making them stronger than they usually are. Bonus type is fighting. I don't got no fighting. But I am at 650. But can I check my Pokemon first? No? Alright. Here we go, guys. Alright, Pidgey's got Gust. Focus Energy. Gust. Oh. Okay, yeah. Looks like his focus energy is on a time limit. So it's probably best to do that just before he gets into a battle. There we go. Gust. Oh, that one's so far. There we go. My Pikachu's like, step on that worm. It's a caterpillar, obviously. Uh oh, these books look tough. Cool. Come on, Pikachu. Alright, facing Gust. 
He could use facing the Pokemon. Ah, oh, he pushed me away. That means my move wasn't effective at all. Oh, interesting. Oh, we got a new, we got a new uh, Power Stone thing. Oh wow, they raise levels pretty quickly. A Might Stone. At this rate, you might run out of supplies. If you'd like, you can connect to the shop to get more. What's in the shop? You can obtain things that will help you on your expedition on Tumble Cube Island from the Pokemon Mart. The Pokemart, not bad. You can use special items called PM tickets to exchange for certain things on the Pokemart. As a service for members, you can receive PM tickets on a regular basis. Alright. Oh, well, let me check everything else out. Okay, I guess I'll have to do that later. That's it for the basic explanation. So get out there and find loot that awaits on Tumblecube Island. Alright everybody, since that's the basic information, I'm gonna cut this video off here. Play the game for a while and then I will come back to show you what I have learned in part two. Thank you so much for watching Twy and Game. This is Twy, out.